The Toy Box Jolene stood before a big oaken toy box. It had been over 15 years since she had last seen it. Now here it was, in her late mother's attic, gathering dust. She thought of long-forgotten memories of her and her brother Zach sitting in front of it, playing with their toys. Tears began to well in her eyes. She had not thought of Zach in a long time. In fact, she couldn't remember the last time she remembered him at all. Perhaps looking at that toy box made the memories trickle back to her mind. It began to play inside her head like a movie. In their bedroom, Jolene and Zach were sitting on the floor in front of that toy box. Zach was crashing cars into each other and Jolene was brushing her Barbie's hair. Their mother was out with her new boyfriend. They were left to look after themselves. Why was it all suddenly coming back? She blew dust off the top of the toy box and wiped the rest of it with her sleeve. She looks at hers and her brother's name scratched into the wood and drifted into another memory. To the night she had scratched their names onto the lid with the knife she had grabbed from the kitchen drawer. Her brother was cooking dinner, doing the best that he could. Although their mother hadn't left him much, Zach had found a half pack of pasta in the back of the cupboard, just enough for him and Jolene. Once dinner was served, they both sat down on the floor and ate plain, undercooked pasta. Jolene wiped tears from her eyes. She couldn't believe it had been so long since she thought of him, but now it was all crashing back like an unstoppable wave inside her mind. The night Zach and her mom were shouting in the kitchen, Jolene went over to her bedroom door and held her ear up to it. You're always out. It's not fair, cried Zach. Why would I want to be here with annoying goblins like you two? I've got better things to do. Their mother shouted. But, but we love you. Can love pay for the fucking rent? No, no it can't. Zach stormed to his room, weeping. And a moment later, Jolene heard the front door slam as their mother left too. That was all she remembered. What she needed to remember. It was clear to her now what happened to Zach. He had been missing since that day for 15 years. Police never found him. Of course they never found him. Because nobody checked the toy box. Could it be?